Hello everyone, Charles Watts here, Arsenal correspondent at Goal. Hope you're having a good weekend. It's uh, glorious out there, sun shining. Perfect day to be out, sitting at a pub, having a nice beer, watching the North London derby. The first North London derby, in fact, at Tottenham's new stadium. But instead we're all cooped up in here, looking at out the window and watching videos that have been posted on social media of former North London derbies. Quite telling, isn't it, that Tottenham on their social media accounts tweeting pictures and tweeting videos of just random North London derby victories while Arsenal meanwhile tweeting videos of Arsenal winning the title at White Hart Lane 16 years ago. But I think what that says about the difference in the two clubs says it all, but that's not what this video is about. So I'll leave that there. Anyway, look, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're enjoying yourselves as best as you can at the moment. And um, and yeah, getting out in the garden, at least getting enjoying some of that sunshine because the rain's on its way. So enjoy it while you can. Anyway, I thought I'd come on here and just um, give a little bit of an update on um, a situation that's evolving at Arsenal. Last time I spoke to you here, we talked a little bit about transfers, about Thomas Parsi. I'm sure you've seen that. If you haven't, then please do. Um, once you've watched this video, go through my previous videos and you can see there I talked about the links with Thomas Parsi and my understanding about um, the possible situation and how Arsenal might or might not be able to get a deal done this summer for the Atletico Madrid midfielder. So please do head back and uh, have a look at those videos if you haven't seen it yet. There's plenty here on the channel. And also, if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, then please do so. There's a little button down there somewhere that you just got to press, hit subscribe, and uh, and yeah, subscribe to me. And I will try and do as many of these videos as I can just to keep you entertained, keep you updated, really, on what's going on in Arsenal. When there's not too much going on, obviously, we know what's... You know, there's no football <laughs> at the moment, is there? We're all longing for it to return at some point, but given what's going on, given the uh, nature of uh, well, life at the moment, there's not much football on. Um, well, there's no football on, and um, we're all waiting for it to return. But whether that will happen in uh, the near future, I doubt it, but you never know. But anyway, one little bit of news um, that's coming out of Arsenal at the moment is that tomorrow on Monday the players will be allowed to return to London Colney, the training base. Now Arsenal haven't, there hasn't been an Arsenal player set foot at London Colney for about seven weeks now. Basically the day before the Manchester City game, uh, which was scheduled for, I think it was March the 11th, Wednesday night, March 11th. Arsenal trained on the Tuesday, so March the 10th, and then the game got called off. Um, later that evening on the Tuesday after the Olympiacos owner tested positive for coronavirus and then Arsenal worked out a number of players had been in close enough contact um, to sort of worry them really and so the Premier League game was called off and that was on the Wednesday, well the game was on the Wednesday um, and Arsenal haven't trained since because then on the Thursday when the players were supposed to come back to training or they were supposed to come back on the Friday, sorry, on the Thursday night Mikel Arteta tested positive for coronavirus and that was obviously the incident that basically shut football down, shut Arsenal down, it shut the Premier League down, shut English football down. And um, we haven't played football since, and London Colney has been closed ever since. But tomorrow it will open its doors once again to Arsenal players. Um, so I thought I'd just come on here, talk about why that decision has been made and exactly how it's going to work. I think that's the key thing. There's so many questions about well, how are Arsenal going back? How, are that, how is that going to work? given the rules that we all have to adhere to, not just footballers, we all have to adhere to. So how's it going to work and how are Arsenal going to manage the situation? Because Arsenal put a statement out over the weekend, I'm sure you've probably seen it out at the moment, basically talking about how the whole, how it will be carefully managed. So I, I, I thought I'd just come on here and explain what that exactly exactly means. So let's go, let's start. From tomorrow, Monday, like I said, um, five players at a time will be allowed in to London Colney. Now, London Colney, if you haven't been there, it is massive. It is a very big place. There's 10 training pitches at London Colney dotted around the whole complex. So obviously, you've got the big buildings as well, but you've got tra 10 training pitches. You've got first team pitches, academy pitches, and, and all sorts, indoor pitches. Um, and, there's gonna be, and there's 10 of them. So at any one time, five Arsenal first team players are going to be allowed on site. Now what's going to happen is, that, well they've already got it, a rotor has been sent out where players have been allocated a certain one hour time slot at times during the week when they will be allowed to go in to London Colney um, and that starts tomorrow. Now this is, this is voluntary so the players do not have to do it but if they do want to, if they want to come in and have a training session 
um, they can do it. Now, what a training session means is they're going to be basically out on their own on their own pitch. They're going to have their own set of balls that only they can use, and they're going to be able to do their pre-planned training routine. Now, at, re at the moment, Arsenal players have been training at home. They've been having those routines sent to them by the medical staff, the fitness staff, and they've been working to them. Um, but then now they can bring those routines in, and they can do it and do them on the lovely training pitches at London Colney. Now there will be coaching staff, um, certainly medical staff and fitness staff on scene because there has to be. If the players are there, if, even if it's only five players, they need a certain amount of medical staff and fitness staff there. It's just what, it's just what needs to be done um, in case one of them trips over and breaks their leg or something. Someone needs to be there. Um, and so there will be fitness staff and coaching staff there. Now, they won't be leading these training sessions. The, pl the players will be working to their own re re routine, which has already been pre-planned and sent to them by the, by the fitness um, coaches. But they will be in earshot. So, you know, if the players want advice, if the fitness coaches are looking at something and tell them, want the players to do something differently, they will be able to shout at the players and tell them what they want and be able to talk to them, communicate with them. So they will be in earshot. But mainly, it's just going to be a case of the players are going to have one hour allocated where they're going to be able to go on the training pitch, they're going to have a set of balls that they'll be able to use, they're going to be able to do their running, do their sprinting, work on their finishing, work on whatever they want to work on, but they're going to be do it, able to do it in the um, luxurious surroundings of London Colney. And as I said, it's only five players at a time and it's all going to be rotated. So, but, and, and none of the buildings are going to be open in London Colney. It's basically going to be a case of the players are going to turn up already in their training gear, they're going to park their cars, go straight from the car park to the training pitch, do their session, go straight back to their car, go home. And that's where they'll have showers and everything else. You know, they won't be doing any of that at London Colney. It's basically just going to be car park, training pitch, car park, home. Um, and then once that, first, once that five who were doing it have have done their routine, they'll go home. I think there's probably going to be about an hour's gap and then the next five will be able to come in and do their training session. So that's how it's going to work. Um, and like I said at the start, it's voluntary. It's not they don't have to do it. All players are going to have an allocated time slot throughout the week or more than one allocated time slot throughout the week. And it's per it's just totally up to them if they want to come in and use it and do their work at London Colney rather than at home. Um, now, Arsenal have been working on this for quite a while. Um, they're the first club to do it in the Premier League, but they've been working on it for quite a while. And, and a lot of the reason for that is the players have been asking, they've been wanting to go back to London Colney because of a few reasons. Basically, you've got to remember Arsenal as well, they've been... In this lockdown a little bit longer than everyone else because of what happened with um, the Olympiacos owner um, and uh, they've been but they've been doing it at home doing their stuff at home they've been going out to try and do runs and on these runs they've been getting despite the social distancing rules that are in place they've been getting fans coming up and asking for selfies and stuff so it's just not been a great ideal situation for them I'm sure it's the same at other clubs as well at home, it's been fine where they've been able to do, you know, get on the exercise bikes, get on the treadmill, get on the weights that Arsenal have given to them if they hadn't got themselves. But it's when they've gone out to do their own sort of exercise out and around their, their various neighbourhoods, you know, Hampstead, where a lot of players leave, they'll go and do a run on Hampstead Heath and things like that. But whenever they've been doing that, they've been getting stopped and asked for selfies and stuff. And obviously you can't be doing that at the moment. And they've just not really been able to do their jobs properly uh, and keep themselves in the sort of shape that they want. And so that's why they've been pressuring Arsenal really or not pressuring Arsenal but they've been asking Arsenal whether they could come back to London Colney and do it and so the club have been have been listening to that they've been listening to their players concerns um, and they've been putting this plan in place for a little bit of time now the Premier League have been aware of it been made aware of it been kept uh, aware of it throughout um, as Arsenal have put the bits together and Arsenal are now in a position where they think they've put a plan together which adheres to all the rules most importantly it lets their players do their jobs properly. Um, obviously, lets them keep keep fit. It, it raises their morale a little bit as well. You know, just being able to get away from home and get back to the surroundings of um, London Colney. Now, they're obviously not going to be able to have the fun that they normally have there. They're not going to be um, they're not going to be talking to their teammates or anything like that. They're barely going to see them. I think if they do see them, it would just be across the car park or across the far end of another training pitch and be able to wave to them. But it's not going to be a case of talking to them so you're not going to have that you know camaraderie the banter that you usually have at training grounds but at least gets them away from home it gets them to familiar surroundings makes them feel almost like football could be coming back so mentally I think it's a big thing as well and that's why Arsenal have been really keen to put this into place um, 
it's not, I'm sure you've seen the stories over the last few days about a few Arsenal players, it was David Luiz, Socrates, I think, Granit Xhaka, um, Nicolas Pepe, Alexander Lacazette, have all sort of fallen foul of the social distancing rule recently in the last few days and pictures have come in the press and um, Arsenal had to remind the players about their sort of responsibilities when it comes to social distancing. Now this isn't in direct response to that, you know, like I said, this plan has been, they've been working on this plan for a while now. Um, but again, Arsenal sort of look at it and say, well, that the fact that that happened makes it even better for us to now be able to offer the players their own sanctuary to come in and work um, and a safe sanctuary. And that's that's the key thing here. Arsenal absolutely in full belief that this is a safe thing to do. It follows the, it follows the rules um, and that they've done it. They've put this plan together very stringently and they believe that everything all the guidelines have been followed and that the players will have to follow the guidelines that they've set when they're at London Colney. So there won't be any social distancing breaks or anything like that. It's very much going to be a very controlled situation when they get there, in and out, um, safe, and just on the whole, let the players have a bit of time. Mentally, as I said, it'll be a good thing for them and they'll be able to keep themselves fit and just away from away from people trying to get selfies. And it sounds mad that, that that is actually happening, but it is happening that, you know, players go around the corner, suddenly bump into a fan and that fan wants a picture, even though what's going on. Um, and it's hard because the players don't want to have to say no, but, um, you know, it's a difficult situation. And I think Arsenal think this is the best way out of it. But like I said, it's voluntary. Not everyone has to do it, but um, the club certainly expecting most of the first team squad to take up the opportunity now that it has been offered. So that's about it. I thought I'd just come in here, update you with that, tell you about, um, tell you about actually a little bit of news, and there's not been that much news recently. Um, and this is this is it, and it just makes you feel a little bit better. I know look, that there's there's been talk that the Premier League is gearing up to return at some point, you know, in the pretty near future. Um, whether that is the case, I'm not so sure, but um, certainly when you hear about this sort of thing, it just raises your spirit level a little bit in terms of, well. You know, if the players are back there, then it's sort of setting the wheels in motion at some point for it to happen. But um, I still think it's going to be a while yet till we get to watch watch Arsenal and get to see them finish the season. But small steps, and that's what this is. Pretty, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to report at the moment. Like I said, there's plenty of other videos you can go and watch if you haven't um, seen them already below. Uh, just go down there. We've got the the video about Thomas Party. As I said, there's one about Axel de Zazi as well, the French defender who Arsenal are looking at. So I've tried to keep you updated as best I can during uh, during this uh, football-wide shutdown. But um, yeah, please do head down there and view the videos if you want to. And um, yeah, hit subscribe while you're at it. So until next time, everyone, thank you very much. I said it on my last video and I will do it this week. I'm determined. I'll probably put out a tweet tomorrow, which is Monday, asking for your questions. But I will come back to do one of my Q&As at some point on here in the next few days. Um, so just keep checking out my Twitter, which is at Charles underscore Watts. And when I do put that question out there, um, just hit hit me up with whatever questions you've got. Just hit it up in the replies and I will try and answer as many as I can on here when I do my Q&A at some point during the week. So until then, thank you very much for watching. Keep safe and speak to you soon.